Well, welcome back to 3 News, a live look with our tower cam on SPID, the last weekend of 2019. Can you believe it? Now, overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, a cold front will push in, start to clear out the cloud cover, the humidity, and also bring a slight chance of rain. But in the meantime, we have 71. High temperature today was 76. Southeast winds at 15 miles an hour. So they've been breezy today, and that's been the big story. And they'll stay breezy tonight through about 10 o'clock. Temperatures in the upper 60s, so not a big cool down with cloudy skies. You don't get much of a cool down sunset was about 30 minutes ago or so and then winds will relax overnight. They're not too bad right now. 15 sustained here in the city. Calm winds out over in our western counties. Jim Wells, Claiborne County and also Live Oak and Bee County as well. 5 to 10 miles an hour. Not too bad. Temperatures are pacing in the low 70s and also upper 60s right now. 69 in Robstown. Warm spot. Foul Furious at 76. They were in the upper 70s earlier this afternoon and the upper 60s along the immediate coastline. Now uh, the setup. We have lots of clouds streaming in from the southwest. Again, not producing any rain. We don't have a trigger or a catalyst to kind of get rain going, but out to the north they do. Passing through San Antonio is a cold front and with it a line of broken showers and also some heavy downpours moving into College Station, also Interstate 45 and closer to Houston at this hour. Now superimposed on this is the cold front and you can see it now behind it is cooler air and also clearing skies and that's going to be the good news in this forecast as this front kind of slides by in the next 12 hours or so. We're thinking about sunrise to the latest around 10 a.m. tomorrow morning and with it clearing skies and cooler weather on the day to wrap up the weekend. But look out to our north, a really intense area of low pressure bringing heavy rain to St. Louis, Missouri. Also some good snow for the Dakotas and also into Nebraska for tonight, also into tomorrow. Now how about this cold front? It's going to pass through again around sunrise tomorrow at the latest 9, 10 a.m. In the meantime, cloudy skies and with it a few sprinkles, very possible. But look at this behind the front clearing skies and it should clear us out nicely for the rest of the weekend. And with it, maybe a few drops of light rain. Again, not looking at a big soaker in the forecast, just a few passing showers through about 9 and 10 a.m. And it's going to bring cooler weather. I mean, seasonable December weather for the next seven days. High temperatures will top out in the low to mid 60s and near 70 on Thursday and Friday as another front comes through next week late. All right, so let's talk about the next couple days after the cold front. So by about Monday, we're looking at sunny skies. Looks spectacular, let me tell you. And then out to our west is a digging area of low pressure. Now this is going to be coming in New Year's Day and also a couple days after that. So New Year's Eve looks good to go, cloudy, but watch the clock. Wednesday, 8:30 in the morning. That's New Year's Day. A few showers work in, and looks like to be a big weather maker for New Year's Day and the day after as well. Scattered showers, which could be heavy at times here in South Texas. All right, so the New Year's forecast, or at least New Year's Eve. 2020 is on the way. High temperatures in the 60s, overnights in the 40s, so cool mornings and cool late nights and a mild afternoon under mostly cloudy skies. So again, seven day forecast shows the best rain making energy working into the coastal bend. Looks like Wednesday and a Thursday, which is in fact New Year's Day. High temperatures topping out in the mid to upper 60s. All right, keep it here on 3 News. That's it for the weather forecast. Travis Green with sports. He's up next.